Hey, this is Kenan Names, and welcome to a quick look into the compound block of Medieval Engineers. This is all based off of a slideshow that was put together, I believe, by the devs. Hmm. It was out there, I'll have a link in the description. But one thing I saw in there was a floor made out of tiles such as this. This would be considered one block, one compound block, made out of one plate, four bars, pillar things on the sides, along with four corner edges. Now this would probably be the top of the block that they are standing on, but I've created a 3D rep representation and then exploded it so that you can see the inner workings. So what I believe to be the basic principle of the compound block is that you can have multiple blocks in the same 3D space, but as long as they don't overlap for the majority of the space they take up, they'll be able to ex coexist. So let's say that we have a wall which would take up these, this whole side from here all the way up and then you want to add another wall onto that same block. You would merely, merely put it on that side and they would share this one column and these two blocks and they would be able to coexist because they're not taking up the same exact space. I have no clue if that's actually how it's going to work, but that's these are all my assumptions. So this is my representation of a compound blocks and all of its fittings in a 10x10 fashion. It starts out with an 8x8 main core, which makes up this interior, then a total of 6 of these 8x8x1 plates, along with by 12 8x1x1 by one by one columns on top and sides and bottom and then 8 of these 1x1x1 one by one by one cubes at the corners. Now these cubes turn into pretty cool stuff when you get into columns but I'll cover that later. So starting out, usually you would not use this interior block unless you're making a 5 meter thick wall. Could have your advantages there. But this main the main reason for this 8x8 is probably staircases and spiral staircases mainly. You'd start out with a probably a 4x4 spiral staircase. You'd start out at this level, it would bring you up to this one, let's lead you there and up onto that portion. So how this works is you come in from one, probably from here, you come in from one angle and you climb up to the other side. So that means that there has to be a wall on this side, this side, this side is generally covered up because of the stairs, but this side being open. And there's a mechanism in the inside, which is the staircase, which would be this 8x8 interior block, main majority of the block. So with the spiral staircase, unless they have these preset, probably will, you would have to put in one wall, the second wall, the staircase, me the staircase mechanism, which would probably also fill up this side. Hopefully they will leave just staircases that you can only have this interior so that you can connect it with other staircases and such. So now getting into the idea of pillars. So in the slideshow, they showed a giant floor made out of these blocks. I've just attached two together and then the sides and corner blocks of the two adjacent. This creates a two by two pattern from the corner blocks of all four of these, these squares. So with this 4x4 pattern, you, in, you can have a block that goes from this square and only covers up these columns, these columns, and then have the same block be placed into this square, which would include that, and the same on the other sides, thus creating a pillar where you can also walk through the majority of that block without running into it and still looking pretty nice. So how these work with structural integrity is that when you have two archways that converge at one point, it turns into a cornered archway, which all comes down to one single corner block. This means you can have an entire roof, such as this, which would be on top of here, supported by one column and thus spreading its force into the other columns that make up it. So one major use of these compound blocks is in mining. So in a mine shaft, you need supports, but you need them to run across the walls where you're not going to be walking nor mining. So how this works with compound blocks is if you take a wooden frame piece which goes up the side, over the top, and down, you'll have support of the roof by these wooden struts and held up by this beam. Yeah. 
so you'll have structural integrity in your mine shaft without it collapsing. So to go along with mine shafts, you can use a medieval tactic called undermining. It's basically you mine underneath some enemy wall, you put up structural integrity so that it doesn't cave in on you, and then once you have mined out enough underneath the wall, you burn all the structurals and it, the wall comes falling down. So that's about all I got for the compound block so far. I'll also be coming out with videos of stuff that they showed off in the slideshow, but is kind of obscure right now. Later. So, hopefully you've been inspired by these compound blocks as I have, and I'll see you in the next one.